hairdresser in ancient Rome. She was the private hairdressing servant of the female members of a Roman family. Using very simple tools, the Ornatrix created the distinctive wearable art immortalized in ancient Roman portraiture. In this tutorial, you will learn three-strand inside braiding, a necessary skill for an Ornatrix. You will learn the free-hanging inside braid. You will learn the symmetrical augmenting inside braid and the asymmetrical augmenting inside braid. And you will learn over-directed augmenting inside braids. For all types of inside braids, the three strands will be passed from hand to hand in a specific pattern while the individual strands are controlled by the thumb and first three fingers of each hand. By passing the strands from hand to hand, you maximize control of the hair and always have one hand available to comb, detangle, or otherwise perfect the braid as you go along. This minimizes time-consuming do-overs. In this video, you will learn how to weave several types of inside braids and variants using a technique optimized for hairdressers, that is, for those who wish to braid the hair of others, not themselves. Inside braids show distinct visual characteristics. From its origin point, the inside braid displays a discrete pattern of upright Vs where the strands of hair overlap each other at the center of the braid. The undulations of the symmetrical augmenting inside braid are partially hidden by the augmenting hair. This makes the head form look fuller when compared to the augmenting outside braid, which sits in high relief on the surface of the head and defines the actual contour of the skull. The symmetrical inside augmenting braid looks less defined in appearance than its free-hanging sister. We'll start with the free-hanging braid. The inside braiding mantra is pinch from the side, rotate the others, and pass. Ribbon practice facilitates comprehension of the technique. With the right palm facing up, grasp the orange ribbon between the thumb and first finger. With the left palm facing up, place the leftward two ribbons between the thumb and first finger and the first finger and middle finger of the left hand. Rotate the left hand so that it faces down. This crosses the two left hand ribbons. Pass these ribbons to the right hand between the index and middle and the middle finger and ring finger. The green ribbon is now on the left, the right palm is facing up. Pinch the green strand with the thumb and index finger of the left hand. Rotate the right hand so the palm faces down and pass these two strands between the index and middle and the middle and ring fingers of the left hand. The left palm is facing up. The black strand is on the right. Pinch the black strand with the thumb and index finger of the right hand, rotate the left hand downward, and pass the remaining strands between the index and middle and the middle and ring fingers of the right hand. Continue in this manner, repeating the mantra, pinch from the side, rotate the others, and pass, all the way down. Practice the braid using ribbons as many times as necessary before moving to natural hair. It is important to keep the strands as smooth as possible, otherwise the braid may tangle or unsightly loops may occur. Smooth tangles as they form by combing the offending strands with your free hand. As 
As your speed and agility improve, you may find that passing and pinching almost become a single motion. Symmetrical Augmenting Outside Braid Augmenting braids are more complex than free hanging braids. The braid begins with a smaller portion of hair than will ultimately be included in the braid. The initial portion of hair is divided into three and with each pass of weaving an additional substrand of hair can be added to one of the pre-existing three strands. To start, divide a small area of hair at the top of the section to be braided. Divide it into three even strands. Pinch from the side, rotate the others and pass three times. Add a strand to the center, pinch from the side, rotate the others, and pass. Always augment on the side of your free hand. Lift the augmenting strands with a hair bodkin as shown, or use a fingernail on the free hand or a tail comb if preferred. Clean, uniform substrands produce the best-looking braids. To save time, hairdressers never put down their parting tool, but pass it from hand to hand as necessary. position is critically important in creating augmenting braids. To achieve nice, tight augmenting braids, the hand holding onto the hair at any given moment must remain in constant contact with the scalp. In ancient Roman hairdressing, symmetrical inside augmenting braids are rarely seen on the surface of the hairstyle. They are chiefly used as hidden support for large buns or other structures that might otherwise slide down the hair. If your augmenting braids sag at the nape and you don't wish them to, ask the patron to tilt her head forward and down so that the backs of your hands fit more easily into the nape. Asymmetrical Augmenting Inside Braid Asymmetrical Augmenting Braids increase from one side only. Divide a small area of hair at the place where you wish the braid to begin. Divide it into three even strands. Pinch from the side, rotate the others, and pass three or four times as necessary. Augment only from the chosen side. Keeping the hands close to the scalp results in a tighter braid.
Augmenting braids may be woven in ways that create loose or lacy effects. This technique is called over-direction. Over-direction occurs when the hands are held away from the head so that each augmenting strand has a slightly longer root than the one preceding it. Begin your over-directed braid at the desired origin point and, lifting the braid away from the head, use free hanging inside braid technique for at least three passes. As you augment, add hair to both or only one side of the braid. To spread out the laciness, weave extra passes of free hanging braid between each augmentation. Pay attention to elevation and tension while you braid, as these will affect the outcome. Overdirected asymmetrical augmenting inside braids. As usual, divide a small strand of hair into three and weave for three passes before beginning to augment. In asymmetrical braiding, you add hair from only one side of the braid. Be mindful to keep consistent tension and elevation while braiding. Variation in tension and elevation changes the final result. Once you master inside braiding, you are only limited by the length of the hair and your imagination. Mm -hmm.